Today on Garden Fork, learn an easy way to make carbonara. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. My friend Bill is here and he's running the camera for me today. Hi. Um, today we're going to make carbonara, which is probably one of my favorite foods because it tastes really good, it's really simple to make, and it has the, uh, basically it has the four major food groups. It has bacon, cheese, eggs, and pasta. And with this combination, you really can't go wrong. Carbonara is basically you cook down the bacon, you boil the pasta, and then you mix the uh, grated cheese with two raw or four raw eggs, depending on what you want to do, and then the heat from the pasta, when you combine it with the cheese and the egg, cooks the egg a little bit and makes this really nice sauce. You add in the bacon and then you eat it, and it's really, really good. The first thing you have to do, you can use pancetta or you can use bacon. I like this, this uh, thick slice slab bacon. Um, Bill likes pancetta. He was a little incredulous that I didn't get it. Really? But I don't think you can taste the difference. Oh, please. Are you kidding? I, you know, your palate's more refined than mine. Yeah, I'm awesome. So, this is 20 ounces, and we don't need nearly that much uh, bacon for pancetta. You want like six to eight ounces of bacon, so we have to do a little math here. I don't have a scale, so what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little simple math. So, so that's about eight ounces there. All right. You keep this all together, and you you can cube it, you can slab it, you know. Basically what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it. You can smell it. And we're going to, it's called, rend I think we render it, is that what they call it? They render the bacon. But we're going to make this into kind of crispy little squares of bacon. And then we're going to cook it down. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, again, it's garden fork. Mm -hmm. Saucepan that's very unconventional. Well, this is all I, I have. Okay. Is that okay? It's garden pork, yes. All right. So more traditional. Wow, that's hot. Um, we'll use this instead. All right. Very low tech stove we have here. Flame flambe. I uh, I love the smell of bacon. So. Yes. Probably vegetarian, so don't like the smell of bacon. <laughs> there are a bazillion carbonara recipes out there, so I mean, this is kind of the Eric version. So you see how this is kind of nicely crisp like that? This is done. So we're going to drain this off. We're going to keep about a tablespoon of the bacon grease. We're going to grate some cheese, mix it with two eggs. And that's it, and it's, it, it tastes great. And again, it has the four food groups, bacon, eggs, cheese, and pasta. This could be a little smaller than I cut it, but you know. So we need about a cup of cheese. Can we, back to the show. Back to the show. Mix, uh, we're gonna scramble two eggs. Stop. stop. I'm imitating the pot lamp. Oh, let's put the. <laughs> I mean, ideally, you should have a taller pasta pot with a lot of water, but I always, our pasta pot's in the basement. I always forget to go get it. Did you set the timer? I did not. So, um, and then you add the cheese into here. Another key ingredient of carbonara is pepper. Not okay. pepper out of a can, but freshly ground pepper. This is pepper out of a coffee thing. This is a Turkish coffee grinder. Now, is this, are those raw eggs? Yeah, but they will cook. Don't worry. The heat of the pasta, basically, as soon as the pasta is done, we're going to dump it out, we're going to warm a bowl with the hot water from the pasta, put the pasta in, put the bacon in, and put our egg mixture in, and in about two seconds, boom, it makes this amazing silky sauce, and then you eat it as soon as you can. Does it have some tooth? Yep. All right, so we take our pasta. Careful. The strainer is in our serving bowl. And goes like that. How ingenious. <laughs> Warms up the bowl. Warms up the bowl. Okay, so we have a very hot bowl here. You're steaming the lens of the camera. 
Pasta goes back into our serving bowl, which has been preheated. Uh -huh. Alright. The egg mixture goes in. It's on a silky sauce quick, 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 quick. Bacon. Remember, you've poured off, you've poured off most of the bacon fat. Alright? So All about right. a tablespoon of the bacon fat. You have to do this fairly quickly, all right? And then you mix this together. The trick here is to make sure you don't make scrambled eggs, but you make carbonara. <laughs> oh, man, it's, it's coagulating. No way. Yeah. I don't see any any coagulation. It's, um, no, it's, it's fine. I'm just overreacting. Okay, so I was a little anxious there because it's, you know, the pressure's on to mix it, but this, this looks amazing, and it tastes... It will taste amazing as well. That looks great. It just has this golden color, which I love. Okay, so there you go. Carbonara, very easy to make. Uh, some of us think you can make it with just bacon. Some people prefer pancetta, but thank you for watching.